Welcome to this Mass Made Easy video on the product moment correlation coefficient. And to start with, let's take a look here at hypothesis testing with the PMCC. Now when we're measuring variables that are not correlated, it is possible that some correlation might arise by chance. A PMCC hypothesis test is a test to see if the variables really are correlated. Now, there's two things that we need to denote first. We need the population parameter. So if we write this down here, the population parameter. And the population parameter, we denote it here using the Greek letter rho. Okay. So that's the rho that we use to denote the population parameter. And this is the PMCC of the population. Okay. We also need to know here the test statistic. So here we represent this as R. Okay, so just the letter R here. So statistic. And the test statistic is the PMCC of the sample or the data that we have. Now we also need to make a point here on the hypotheses. Okay, so as this is a hypothesis test, we clearly need some hypotheses. So in this case here, our H0 is nice and easy to remember as this never changes. So in this case, we use the population parameter rho here, and this is equal to zero. Okay. Now our H1 will change depending on whether we're working with a one-tailed test or a two-tailed test. So if we denote a one-tailed test here in red, we have two possible options here. We have H1, using again the population parameter rho here, is either greater than zero or H1, again using the population parameter of rho, is less than zero. Okay. So those are the two possible options there for a one-tailed test. That's for a one-tailed test. And now let's consider a two-tailed test here. And for a two-tailed test, we only have one possible option here, and that's H1, again, using our population parameter of rho, is not equal to zero there. Okay, so that's for a two-tailed test. So the only thing left to consider here is using our formula book to obtain our critical value. Now here we can see a portion of the formula book here at the bottom. When what we can see is the significance level given here. We have the sample size given here as n. So in that case, we can use our sample size n and the significance level to obtain our critical value. So for example, if we had a significance level of 0.05, and this corresponds to 5%. Okay, so that's for a 5% significance level. Well, in that case here now, if we have a sample size of n equals 6, in that case, our critical value here would be 0 0.7293 there. Okay. So that gives us everything we need there for hypothesis testing and product moment correlation coefficient. And that concludes this Maths Made Easy video on the product moment correlation coefficient.